This Good to Go segment is made possible by Spectrum Health Medical Group. September 23rd is the first day of fall. It is also the 10th annual National Falls Prevention Awareness Day, sponsored by the National Council on Aging. And here's why we should care. Falls are the leading cause of injury-related emergency department visits for older adults. The major cause of hip fractures, and they're responsible for more than half of fatal head injuries. Spectrum Health and other partners are trying to do something about that. Megan Crawley is the Injury Prevention Coordinator at Spectrum Health's Butterworth Hospital. And Dawn Karenstra is the EMS and Injury Prevention Coordinator at Mercy Health St. Mary's campus. They are both part of the Region 6 Injury Prevention Committee, which includes hospitals and healthcare agencies throughout Western Michigan. And it's good to have you both here. Thank you for having us. Yeah, so I kind of cited a few of the statistics. Why is it that seniors are so much more inclined to fall? So there's a few different uh, physiological changes that happen as we age, but that does not mean that falling has to be a normal part of aging. Mm. Um, some of the physiological changes such as, you know, sometimes our joints aren't as strong, not as flexible, those do increase your risks for falling, mm -hmm. but there are things that you can do to prevent falls, and that's the big thing that we want people to know. Yeah, because the injuries that they're sustaining when they're falling can be pretty severe. Absolutely. Aside from abrasions and lacerations, we also see the more serious injuries of the intracranial injuries, such as the head bleeds mm -hmm. and fractures. We see fractures of the hip and pelvis, as well as the femur and spine fractures, back injuries, all very common, mm -hmm. especially within our elderly population, tends to be the most common injuries from falls in our emergency department. Yes, I mentioned how, how often are they presenting in the ER with fall injuries? So when you look at it nationally, every year uh, there's about 3 million ER visits mm -hmm. uh, every single year, which comes down to about 8,000 ER visits a day. And one in every four, so 25% of older adults report falling every year. That's not the falls that go unreported, so that number is actually quite a bit bigger. Mm. Um, the World Health Organization has actually declared this a, an, epi an epidemic. Oh my goodness. Okay, so how do you work with, with our elderly population to help prevent this? Correct. So we hold fall prevention classes and we teach people the importance of correct footwear, routine eye exams, understanding your medications, mm. as well as the value of home inspections. Making sure your space is safe and free of tripping hazards, really kind of stepping back and looking at it from a risk assessment view. Uh, family members I know always worry about their loved ones, their older relatives, and what do you say to families about keeping their loved ones safe? One of the biggest things that you can do is knowing what those specific risk factors are. Is your loved one at risk for falling because they take a, a bunch of different medications? Hmm. Medications can interact with each other and affect somebody's balance. So make sure that your loved one is going in and getting their medications checked at least once a year. Also, make sure that they're participating in daily activities and exercise. Uh, those are, that's really the best way to keep your mobility. It actually significantly decreases your risk. Well, that's so, good. Yeah. You, you have a special event coming up, too. We do. We do, yes. October 23rd. On fall day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Monday, fall day. We're all getting together. It's going to be a Region 6 collaborative event. We're bringing out pharmacy and physical therapy, occupational therapy. We're going to have a group of registered nurses there to meet and talk with the public, answer questions, educate. What a great opportunity to get together with these professionals and really get your questions answered. All right, that is your opportunity once again. National Falls Prevention Awareness Day, the first day of fall, the 23rd of September. The Spectrum event runs 11 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. at Spectrum Health, healthier communities on Seward Avenue in Grand Rapids. For more information, go to 13onyourside.com. It's good to have you both here. Thanks so much. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you. And thanks for watching.